Um, so, the, and this leads to the little demo that I want everybody to get their cell phones out if they're willing um, to participate in. Um, I'm going to send a sample message here. But um, one of the things that really, that really um, leads this type of attributes of this technology is to tournament reporting. Tournaments are typically um, our big business in the United States, um, a lot of participation. And remember that survey that I mentioned? The survey does not um, incorporate uh, tournament data because as, you, as fellow scientists, you can imagine there's a lot of biases associated with tournaments. Anglers are fishing only for a single day. They're going after the biggest fish, heaviest fish wins. So tournaments only collect uh, maybe the top 50 fish out of three, 400, 500 fish that could be caught, plus all those hours of fishing, plus all those people who go fishing in the tournaments and never never come back because they didn't catch anything. <laughs> and that's and that's a lot. That's a lot of people, um, 60% or so. I mean, so you're it's a it's a big universe and particular and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that big a deal if you're dealing with some species um, which have a low impact by recreational anglers. But King mackerel was thought that um, which is a large pelagic species, um, high marker species that occurs in the South Atlantic in the Gulf of Mexico and now the Caribbean. Um, it's thought that in North Carolina, at least, which is one of the most uh, popular saltwater fishing states, that 30 to 50 percent of the recreational harvest could come from tournaments. Yet there's no method to, to uh, determine this. So this was a good pilot study we received funding to, to look into, which is ongoing. And basically, um, we asked, we asked, um, we got the volunteer anglers at the tournaments and work with, with the organizations. We asked them to um, uh, go on their trip, and at the completion of their trip to uh, basically provide a summary of what happened and submit it to us. And it was, this was all sent via uh, their, their personal mobile phone. And instead of using Twitter, uh, which basically requires that somebody be, um, uh, some knowledge to be um, registered with Twitter, we use um, a third-party aggregating service that allows uh, people to send messages to a short code. And uh, so this is the, um, so I want to walk everybody through I don't have time to go through all the details, but um, the cheat sheet is here on the bottom. This is the message I would say that you would send. And so, um, and we'll just, and if you're looking at your, your card here, on this, on this screen, this uh, piece right here with the, the dark lettering, this is the typical, this is the typical fishing, of, uh, fishing event uh, that occurred. Um, boat number 55, uh, boats are numbered, that's how they determine which boat is which. Um, four people on that boat fished today. We fished for six hours. Um, that's how many hours the lines were in the water. Um, we kept um, a 120 centimeter fork length king mackerel. We released a, um, a 70 centimeter king mackerel. Note the trailing R at the end of the KMX 70 R. Um, we, we, kept, we captured and kept a Wahoo and we also, and then we released three bluefish. So if you notice the last two, um, the last two species, we didn't, we didn't capture lengths, we just captured numbers. So, um, so is everybody with me? Mm -hmm. um, so let me hold up to do this. So this was, this was also part of an experiment because I really, really like to see what happens when a bunch of people sit in. <laughs> but those of you familiar with, with text messaging, um, you know, the bandwidth required to, to transport a message in the system is, is extremely small. Wow. So these are all the reports that are received. Does anybody recognize our phone number from there? Yep. I'm the top ones. <laughs> you just collect it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's actually another, that's another, I should say, that's another um, point that, that something that we didn't figure out until this last uh, pilot tournament we did, is that, uh, you know, when we're talking to anglers, I mean, we're brief here, we're talking to anglers, um, you know, a lot of times people are drinking beer, they're hanging out. And they're like, yeah, remember to send your data in, you know, tomorrow when, after you've had five beers and you've been out in the water eight, eight hours. 
So what we did was, uh, with this with this interface, we were able to actually collect their phone numbers for people who thought they'd be willing to participate. And so we were able to, to send them a mass, you know, text message reminder, which is basically what the software is built for. It's built for uh, providing marketing to people. So that really improved our, um, our reply rates, because they were like, oh yeah, so send it back. So that, that was it. But um, that's basically it, and I'll, I'll stop and, uh, and take maybe one question and move on to Yes. Actually, can I squeeze in two questions? Sure, sure. <laughs> Does it give locational information? No, not not for the study. I mean, you certainly could figure out a way to, to pull in the GPS, but for the for the pilot study and for the tournament, it's not really necessary because they're all fishing in a pretty small geographic area. In the pilot study, everybody was fishing in a known area. But yes, geographic. I mean, location would be is on the wish list. And um, did, did you have any trouble uh, with? People teaching people the interface was there? Uh, were, were they frustrated or? Was you know, there there was uh, with the, the the pilot study. It was very easy. We had low errors because we actually talked to the captains. You know, said here's your phone, here's your cheat sheet. Let's walk through how to do it. It's, it was a lot more difficult with the tournaments because we're trying to talk to as many people as possible in a very short period of time. Many times, we're just like, I got it. I'll look at it later. You know, so we get we get a lot of errors because this is a, obviously a freehand right. system, so there are a lot of errors, but we can still use the data. It's just takes a bit more administrative actions. Thank you.